Um, I think we need to just come to an agreement right now that um, Sergio Clutch is the best striker in the world. Based on form, name me a better striker than Sergio Clutch. Name me a better striker than Sergio, Olushego, Obademi, Adeboye, Aguero. I mean, dude, it's like City have a cheat code. Let's just be real. It's like, cheats, it's like City have a flipping cheat code because this guy is quality. This dude is, this dude is too good. This dude is too good. When you look at that goal, his control, his individualism, his movement to the ball, and his finish from that angle... So it's ridiculous. It's like he's almost like Samuel Esso during that specific time. Where like you, you give him the ball inside the box, it, it's game over. Give Aguero the box with a a sniff of a chance, it's pretty much a G. You see, I think Pep should feel pissed off. Yes, they won the game. Yes, they got three points. This should have been a sacrifice. This should have been a pillaging. This should have been a colonization because City, especially in those first 10, 12, 15 minutes, City lived in Fulham's living room. They slept with Fulham's wife. They slept with everyone that they knew. They, they, they put their feet up on the living room chair. So, Pep should be pissed off because they, that should be a lot, a lot more goals. A lot of wasted chances, wasted shots, wayward shots, many shots off target. And you can see his frustration. Because what? Because people say, wait a minute, why are you frustrated? You're winning 2-0. You're pretty much comfortable. Fulham are already pretty much... Um, given a few counterattacks, but the but the issue about this is that when you're at the top, you're the lead, you have to be ruthless because these are the kinds of games that can just go away from you. You look at that new Newcastle game, City weren't on it, boom, they weren't really, really taking their, their, their chance, they didn't really um capitalize. Look at what happened, they, they, they lost that game. So you have to always be very careful whoever you, you play. Because thing with Fulham is that that's why when I look at Fulham, they're not hopeless. Which is why I look at them and I'm like, they shouldn't really get relegated. They will get relegated because I just think so many games they've lost. And I just I don't think Scott Park is the right guy to go away from them. But when, when you look at them, like you look at they have in Babel, Sessigny and everything. Mitrovic was injured. There are some really good individuals here. And you could say they were, they were giving City a, a, a few issues like that. Chance of the first where Sessigny had the ball um, at the left and he tried to put it over. But then Edison saved it. They had some good opportunities and they were really breaking away. Um, pretty well. Just that I just think that the team just needs a better manager, better understanding. And I don't think Parker's our right dude. But for Man City, you know, I think you know what what makes this team so dangerous is their passing. And I really believe that. Because I was just watching a bit of uh, when Pep first arrived at, at City and how I was looking at guys. And just from what I know, Pep is looking at documentaries on YouTube for for Barcelona. He focuses a lot on passing accuracy. And I think that is what was really making Fulham suffer. Like, even whenever the De Bruyne or Silva had the ball, every pass they made, it was precise to feet at the right angles. They were, they were, they were finding the, the, the spacing. Because it's one thing to stand in the right place when you're the, off the ball. But it's another thing to actually get the pass to, to, to that dude. So you can stand there all you want, but so many guys through to basically find that pass that's make sure that it is not intercepted and it is the right kind of pass at the right time, the right waiting. It's a very difficult thing to do. So I just think what I believe he trains on every single day in training is pass accuracy, pass accuracy, pass accuracy. Your passing has to be crisp. So many, from the defenders, midfielders, to the strikers, everybody's passing has to be good. And I think that is the foundation that he, he builds upon. And I just think that's just what's what killed Fulham. I think City's movement was amazing. But they should, have, they, they should have scored way more, more goals. They should have scored way more, more goals. They had the opportunities that were there. They had the domination. They had the, the control. I think maybe De Bruyne is still getting back to his sharpness. You saw the De Bruyne. You just saw him get a little bit of his swag. But I don't think he's really gotten back to that kind of height that, that he once was. But at the end, end of the day, it's still three points. I think Pep will be happy with three points. But I think he will say to guys that, guys, this is one of the worst teams in the league. And we are... Statistically, mathematically, when all games are played with the best team in the league, we should have we should, we should have beaten these guys five or six. We should have beaten these guys five, five or six. We actually, we we gave these guys a bit of leaving. You know, we, we we gave them a bit of breathing room, which we shouldn't have done. So I think that going into the Cardiff game, people say that look, man, going into this Cardiff game, we have to be far more ruthless. We can't just do a one zero two zero. We have to because yes, winning is all about winning. 
and you can't win every game 5-6-0, but there's some of these games where a 5-6-0, an overwhelming win actually gives you much more confidence to keep it going on because, again, they're building up to that massive game, FA Cup Semi. He wants to quadruple. Pep wants to quadruple. And if Pep wins the quadruple in Uncle Moon 2004, easy, 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 easy. If Pep wins the quadruple, we're going to have to drop an, an, another kind of vid.